no, uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Utles Bonge Wagama Vondi, Abaneng Babazma MK. Uh, the current serving SRC member is the Quality Representative here at school. Uh, here in Hamba Nofaita, Wandile, Nimbezi, the chairperson of EFS Student Command Branch in Hamba, uh, Nofaita Lungile Tsebani, the current deputy chairperson of HUT Branch. Ngi Hamba here, Nekran Forsi, Lentangan. Uh, of it, uh, so uh, this thing is very simple. Uh, we hear some complaints from students, by the way. Uh, not just because there are complaints, but just because uh, students, they need clarity exactly on what is happening. For example, we had many complaints about in Dabaye Pasi, Liga Half Past Six. Some people will say uh, the SRC have failed the students of Egypt campus. But the main problem is that it can happen that there was no any clarity that was given to students. But the reality right now it is that uh, the chairperson of the SRC, alongside with Uno Bala, Usonga Zomzamo, and Usfiso Siwela, the RAO, what happened there? They tried to liaise with the office of the administrator, Ogu Mr. Matobel trying to address the issue, saying we'll see, it's winter time right now. We don't want the pass long half past six. Can you please suspend that pass? Unfortunately, it didn't happen because they said, we'll see, uh, you see, across UK, the ten we're using a map of 50. And that is the greatest challenge, as in I uh, as students of Egypt campus, because it's called they don't want to issue advance. So we we'll a pass. And now we find us sharing our passes. Even the administrator is failing to engage with pass half past six, as citing as Edward, even for second semester. Because I was good see us as students here in Edward campus, see how many pass long half past six. Hence, Abad Pass West Ville Bonabama pass on nine. And that is the main problem, is now because each and every time we get frustrated here at school, and it doesn't uh, sound nice. Number two, uh, we have the issue. Here, of NSFAS. Some people will say uh, EFF Student Command or SRC, you are neglecting the issues of the student not regarding by NSFAS and Cinetech. But the reality right now is that it was introduced by NSFAS, plain demand, of which it affects all students across, the, across South Africa, by the way. All students in institution of higher learning they get affected. That is why we will find the TUT, the ones had a strike, but it collapsed. PMP campus, UK ZN, they had a strike, it collapsed. Not just because uh, uh, it, it was collapsing because Babesich, but it because they were directing uh, the message to the wrong people of the institution, of which the vice chancellor they issued out a statement as show they are rejecting Mutin attack. So now the thing I'm going to here. We mustn't say we want to fight to turn it at the campus level. We need to reflect back to the Fees Must Fall campaign, whereby the struggle it was taken back to the community, where plain demand is located. Because right now, we think we would see us. We need to be able to ensure to bring the struggle to, to the communities so that everything can be addressed. If you have to check Fees Must Fall, they went to communities to ensure that they capture. Uh, 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 the attention of paying demand and therefore an SFAS was converted from being a loan to, to become a passar. You find the students, they complain, they complain more about this thing of Tinet again. And as far as the guidelines that are against us, the SRC they have tried to lobby all clapping societies across South Africa. But the problem is that majority of them they are in favor of plain demand because they've already paid. If you had to check, go back to the NSFAS statement. They said Uguti, they had a meeting with DHET, with SASCO, and uh, with these people who uh, SAUS. They agreed to go to know they there must be these guidelines, they need to be implemented. They also said Uguti, this thing of Tinet mustn't be abolished. They wanted it, even though they say I'm a loophole to have, but even to date, they never even issued out in, state, in statement. And people, they come back and blame the EFS student command just because currently they are SRC members. But the people of whom they approve that thing, Moses Kambak or the DSG of Saus was former president of UK's attend. 
who was uh, leading SASCO prior way before. Of the, the very same people, they approved this thing of Tinetech. And that is the issues of we are currently facing. So we say it here now, if we want to fight the issue of Tinet, now we must be able to ensure to bring the strike to the community. Angu Lelab. We, we have many issues here in Kempasi. But majority of them, they get addressed. So, uh, for example, we had ama clashes. The clashes, ama mochuta, ama ningi, aya clasha. We tried to address the issue with the Prof Ngobo and the Prof uh, uh, No Mrs. Scott, I mean. So the problem is now the current. It in Eskoleni Ayeko, Ugusa Particle Leave. Umutas to Kulmana, the Prof Pile, Ageko na Ugusa Particle Leave. That is why I find Ugus here at Church Campus who are facing many issues. Ako na current academically because we are still having people of whom they are new in the offices. And we try for women to have to engage with them and have meetings to ensure that they address the issues of, of clashes. For example, we had an issue here at 134. Yama for the student of whom that took intermediate phase. Of which it was said, you could see those students, uh, EMS1, because they were unable to buy as a first semester to teaching practice. Now, at 134 is going to be introduced to ensure that they replace the module. Unfortunately, Mrs. Good and also Prof. Noble, they were not aware of such because the person who, was, who approved that thing was on sabbatical leave. We had to ensure that now we have constant meetings and confirmation it was done to ensure that all of those students they get covered or catered for. Uzma was been to 134 and that issue it, it had been covered. Ogunye, we have the issues of extended TPs. Extended TPs, we engage that thing of extended TP for 40 students. As to say, if you have ama 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 modules a first semester wa go fail before can the institution allow you go to win the second semester because already vele in the first semester you are unable to go to win the two to teaching practice we raise a complaint or argument at aguas go to fund you say a fourth year on a first semester on a 96 credit but law 96 credit aguas will be exhausted one when the only two modules there is 32 credits per so we try to lie us with the offices of Prof Pile and Mrs. Scotty and Prof Ngobo initially. But the problem is now the policy, the guidelines. I'm a guidelines as called the policy it says if you are a student, Aguazi Uguenza more than six modules, which means that there is ninety-six credit of it, it is being given, granted to a for the students. So that is the issue of what we are currently facing. So they said Uguzi, for those students who, who apply for extended TPs, if you are having five modules, you want to add two modules, it will never happen because right now, I'm a module draw called rate that are going to exceed seven modules. So the thing, that is the problem we are facing currently. So we even issued out a statement, saying Uguzi trying to address all of those kind of, of issues are called. Ogunye comrades, we have issues here. Ako, nangwele back to NSFAS. Majority of students here in Etude campus, they got defunded by NSFAS because of, of the introduction of CNES issues. It, it's a problem because some people, they become chance takers. They say the SRC is failing one, two, and three. While the issue, it, it must be addressed by NSFAS directly. We once said and stated to go to, we need NSFAS offices here at the campus level. It's so unfortunate because we made submissions to NSFAS saying, Good, bring NSFAS to UKZ. We need NSFAS offices to UKZ, but even today, as cars are We only find Uguti, you only found Uguti, we, all, we had only one delegation here called NSFAS. Yeah, but even today, I've been down here, boy. That is the problem we are facing currently. And Ogunia, to address the issues of TNET, some of you were to remember. Uguti, the EFF student command in case they they called for a shutdown. A shutdown it was called to ensure Uguti will address the issues of TINET. Delegations from NSFAS and TINET, they were there, they received the memoranda. But even today, it has caused a spindle. That is the crisis. So that is why we are in a process now telling students, Uguti, please come and see Uguti, you, you deployed us. Some people, they failed just, just because by a sabu kuluma makoni, so even though ebaba. But now we come to them and say, Uguti, comrades, you deployed us to the SRC offices. Right now we are here, we try to one or two, three. We can say, Uguti, say, okay, we are not being answered to, to those issues. Please come and intervene to such. Finish. That's the only thing that is needed for now. Ogunya Foods, we have issues here. 
uh, about the private uh, accommodation students. The students of private accommodations, we have a crisis right now. But the issue of the uh, ama meals wabu or the allowance they got blocked. Just because all landlord they felt as if students are MCPs, they must pay rent. The question is, how do you pay your rent and they don't have to They are going to sell you about the contract. While if you are away for, 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 for teaching practices, you have to pay a rent. You, you need to use that money to pay rent. But uh, our landlord they get arrogant. But last, uh, last in the day before yesterday, what happened? There was a student that came here. We tried to address the issue. Sahaya Gutandega, Sandega Shopo, we are not telling our PAs, and then she said, Okay, it's fine. She's going to deal with that issue. So, we're in the process of calling all the students from private accommodation to come to Kepas to ensure that we address all of their issues. And Okuni, I'm not going to my issues, but in terms of Excel, because the EFS student command is always here. You are never you are having any issues. Please come to the, to the Kazebo and report any issues of what you are having. Lastly, uh, uh, we have issues now, the change of curriculum issues. Some students, you will find Uguti, those students, uh, they applied for change of curriculum. But even to date, I'm a multi-duabo, our field. So we are in a process whereby we say, students come to the Kazebo, we make submissions to your office, to ensure that they capture a moment to talk about like, so that you can be able to come and attend, finish. Uh, I don't know whether there's anything to let us speak about. That's a good right, my pride. Yes. Oh. Uh, comrade. As the EFF, we say next year, 2024, is our 1994. We want to urge all students of Edgewood Campus, all students of UKZ10, Please go and register to vote for next day elections. Because all of these issues that we are facing from NSFAS, they are being affected by the ministers, play, minister in demand. Some of us here, comrades, we want, to be, we want to be teachers. But the unemployment rate of teachers here in South Africa is very high. We once tried to make submissions to, to the ruling union, Ogusatu, saying, comrades, we have the issues here. Graduates of Edgewood Campus, even today, they are not employed. They said, you must direct your issue to the Department of Education. We asked the question to them, a leader, when we want us to address the issue to the Department of Education, you as a union, you are representing only people who are not Normally, you are representing more about the across, uh, across South Africa. And then there was no any response from those people. And it's a crisis of what we are facing. And we want to say we are more than willing to challenge that. We are more than willing to, to challenge that because we cannot tolerate that nonsense. He, he actually campus is very much recommended as the best college in education. But the unemployment rate still it comes back to psych here. That thing is a problem. That is why we even offered and said to go see we engaged our must stakeholders in to invite people from China to come here and teach students. We would see how can they go about with these things of teacher programs. If you have to remember, I think last week, U.S. also, they gave students some emails saying, we would see if you want to teach in U.S., it's a Zulu, we can be able to apply. Because there is the initiative which currently we are trying to exhaust this thing of unemployment right here in South Africa because you can see it's a crisis. And also, if you, students of Edgewood Campus, want to remember, we are doing teaching practices, go back to school. Abanta ba fundis NS, abanta ba fundis LO, they do not qualify to, to teach NS. What kind of nonsense is that? It's called Esa Shota Ngozi Shei Kolein, but Satu is there. Satu is the one that makes deployment of principals. One of the schools here, they say that Abagwa Zubniga is called Utisha with physics because the principal is there. Can you imagine? Oh, principal, oh, shall you admin in our school? In but we say good principal must also go back to, to, to teach. Low, which means guess on to approximately no two days all over a class. Therefore, in the salary move. 
those are the issues which we are facing currently because the unemployment rate about this year is not being addressed. Ogunyo Gokzin, comrades, want to become educators. The curriculum of South Africa is very much poor. If the curriculum were to be the best, Nabas Funba would say today, it's the reality. If the curriculum wasn't poor, Nabas Funu would some sort of public management here in South Africa. Because the main issues of which we are facing, nobody teaches us about farming. As the EFF want farming education, want mining education, technological-wise, it would be compulsory. Because in technology, it is the key aspects of life here in South Africa, even in the worldwide. That thing it must be compulsory. Ang ngamu gusmang for this technology, in ganika grade nine, the fundus or six fundus elo, ong I understand technology. But we want to inspire those people to ensure that they they become pilots, they become innovators. If you were to check, once in Cape Town, not in Cape Town, in Stellenbosch, they were able to invent omic seeds, which means there is. A, a, a potential of South Africans to invent something. But the problem is that we invent something, there are going to be people of whom they are better than us with technology. It's easy for them to answer. That is why we're having WhatsApp today. And it's a crisis. So those are the things of which are... So please, students of Etude Campus, or UK that's in South Africa, ensure that to register to vote for the EFF. All of these issues for them to be addressed. Uh, thank you.